the tempo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Wasmatic. Welcome to my channel. You may, if you watch this channel regularly, have noticed yesterday I posted a, a roundup video of all the news that we've had coming out of Blizzard over the last seven days regarding the updates to Heroes Within Overwatch and uh, also a recap on yesterday's events at Gamescom. Well, today, Jeff Goodman has announced some details around the changes that they've made internally to D.Va at the moment and the exact statistics are it makes for really interesting reading. So this was a post that was made on the official forums yesterday. Uh, I'll put this up on the screen now. So the micro missiles ability that's going to be added to D.Va's repertoire includes 18 missiles fired over around about 1.6 seconds, but similar to May's right click, uh, ice uh, sniper shot thing. Uh, it takes about half a second to charge up. Uh, there are 11 shots per second of the 18 missiles that are fired in totality and um, it has per missile explosion damage of 8. There is a damage fall off due to distance as well, so the closer you get the better. Um, impact damage of 4 and a radius of 1.5 metres. Uh, and there's a comparison there as you can see with Farah's rockets which have a 2.5 metre radius. Uh, a cooldown of 8 seconds. So um, these are the stats for this at the moment. Now by my calculations that means that impact damage you have around 72 and uh, from actual explosion damage with accurate shots you have 144 so if my maths is correct that means that you have a total damage over 1.6 or yeah, well 1.6 seconds but 2.1 with activation of 216. Now that's really interesting so there were further um, questions around the details of this so I'll run through these now. Jeff said that the missiles fire straight at 40 meters per second and as a comparison he, he outlined that Farah's rockets move 35 meters per second. So it's slow, it's not as fast as say a McCree or a soldier but uh, it's faster than Farah's rockets, that's Farah's standards rockets. Uh, once you press the button they cannot be cancelled Pressing the button fires all of the rockets over time, uh, as he says here, roughly 1.6 seconds as mentioned with a half a second delay before they start firing. So obviously if you're using this, you need to lead potentially if you're checking movement of your, your opposition or the enemy that you're firing at. Um, they will cause self damage if you're close enough. So there's obviously a balance that needs to be made there between how close you are to the target that you want to kill, the drop off in the damage over distance, and we've had no stats at the moment as to what that drop off is over distance. So if you're closer than maybe two meters or three meters, do, do you get uh, do you take damage? Um, so that's an interesting one. We'll have to see how that plays out if and when it arrives on the PTR and the stats remain the same as they are posted here. Uh, further questions around spread. There is no spread. Each individual rocket fires directly at the point you're looking at when it was fired. Uh, since they are firing individually over time, they won't all go in the same place unless you look at the same spot. So it means that you can lead them. I would imagine very similar to the way that you fire the fusion cannon for Orisa. So you can lead and uh, they'll fire exactly where you were looking at at the point that they released from, from the weapon. So it's interesting, I think it's going to make some really interesting changes in the dynamics. Uh, firing does not stop you from moving, you can fire them while you're moving, uh, you can use other abilities and shoot your gun, they fire by themselves once you press the button. The only thing that stops them firing is either being uh, either dying or being stunned, so if there's a McCree around with a flashbang, that could do it. So those are the stats we have at the moment. What does that mean in terms of uh, the way that D.Va's played at the moment? I think I intimated yesterday in my video that, that, that the changes to D.Va could potentially be Blizzard nerfing the dive comp. Actually, now that I've seen these statistics, I think we're looking at something significantly different. I know we've got a nerf to the defense matrix that's being reduced from 4 seconds to 2 seconds with the same recharge time. So there's a less of a defensive capability, but certainly with this, the 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 place for Diva in the current meta, dive meta, I think is still there. And what we were going to what we're going to see is a shift of Diva, as we've seen Roadhog shift away from offensive into defensive. I think we're going to see Diva shift from defensive more into offensive. What does that mean? So if we take a look at the stats, there's 216 damage that you could do to an individual target if you are accurate with every single rocket over about one and a half seconds. 
The only heroes in the game that have more than 200 health are Doomfist, the Reaper, Bastion who has 300, May who has 250 and then all of the tanks who have an excess of 400. So what does that mean in terms of the micro missiles and the changes to D.Va's ability? She is now even more suited to the dive comp in my personal opinion. I think what we will see is D.Va and as many people have theorised becoming the support class dive. So I think we're going to see D.Va playing an important part not in flanking just in diving in, taking out your mercies your yeah, Anna's. Uh, I mean, look at all the DPS classes. I mean, Genji's 200, McCree's 200. They're all 200. Soldier's 200. Symmetra's 200. Hanzo's 200. Junkrat's 200. Torbjorn's 200. Widow's 200. Anna, Lucio, Mercy, Symmetra, Zenyatta. They are all 200 health. So we could potentially be seeing D.Va now with a complete one-shot ability. Because you've got to remember, you can fire these rockets at the same time as firing D.Va's cannons and you can dive and you can fire the cannons whilst you're boosting in, in these changes. So if you imagine the scenario where, as people have often said, Diva is perfect for diving a Mercy. If Mercy tries to float away or fly away, you can chase her. So you dive a Mercy whilst firing. You can put up defense matrix if you need to defend yourself, but fire those rockets whilst firing your cannons. She's going to be gone. Anna the same, you know, unless she gets a sleep dart off. So. And the other element to consider in all of this is Farah. Farah only has 200 hit points. So if you can boost D.Va into the air, firing whilst boosting, and then let off those rockets into Farah's face, she's going to be gone. So those Farahs, those people who play Farah at the moment, I think, uh, watch out if these changes remain the same and the statistics for these rockets remain the same. Uh, she's going to be an enormous threat for pretty much most of the heroes in the game for a one-shot. So D.Va is now, I was completely wrong yesterday when I said that I think we're going to see the nerf of the dive comp. I think this is actually really boosting the dive comp and I think D.Va will become an even more important pick than she already is. So that's it, those are my thoughts. Interesting to see the stats as they are at the moment. Let's see what they are when they come out on the PTR and if they're subject to any change. I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. Thank you for watching guys. If you like what you're seeing, please give me a subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.